but then you say you're depressed and you're socially awkward and you have a tough time talking to people and you cry too much. Let me tell you something. I know what you're going through. I've been there. You will get through this. You're a fighter. So please, please don't kill yourself. But first, I'd like to start by saying that if you need somebody to talk to, and I'm unavailable, and I, I don't see your emails, and you don't have a loved one that you want to talk to about it, there are plenty of resources. I like to use the Hope Line, and you'll find them at hopeline.com. They're excellent in helping you find some temporary relief, finding your resources in the area to find permanent relief, and helping you find hope. There's also, in every country, a national hotline for suicide prevention, and there are plenty of sub-forms and, and, and forms and things on the internet that allow you to talk to other people who are feeling the way that you're feeling. I personally use the subreddit um, depression. I, those guys have been phenomenal uh, and, and instrumental at keeping me sane, and I really appreciate them, and I think you should stop by there sometime. We all know who the people are that deal with suicide thoughts. It's not the idiots. It's not the obnoxious dickheads. It's not the evil people. It's the sensitive, self-reflective people. And the more decent people we lose, the more padded with morons the world becomes. <clears throat> and the harder it gets to be a decent human being. The problem is you continue to judge yourself by society standards, and society says, you know, you're judged by how much money you make, or what you do for a living, or uh, who your friends are. But, you know, that's not what it's all about. It's all about you fulfilling what you want, what you truly desire. And I'd like to say that that pain goes away, but I can't. Because that pain is still with me, and I still carry it with me. And it's still part of my heart and part of my mind. And it affects me uh, fairly often still. Um... But there are days that I don't think about it. There are weeks that I don't think about it. And earlier this year, there were just a couple of months that it just never crossed my mind. It was never part of my brain. And what I'm trying to say is, if, if even if that pain never goes away, maybe it's the, the pain of burying somebody you love or, or losing that girl or guy that you absolutely wanted to be with or, or that job opportunity or something, failure... That pain may never go away, but you will learn to live with it. You will learn to make room for it and still have plenty of room for the joy and happiness that you deserve. And what I'm trying to say is, is for fuck's sake, don't kill yourself. 